Good morning everyone. I'm back. It's nice and early. It's 11. So I'll have this um, uh, loaded before noon today. Uh, first off, I want to thank everyone because uh, these are the sponsors of July 2017. Here you go. Put it on pause if you want to check the names. Here you go. Then this is the uh, update version. So I have updated up until this morning about around 10 o'clock. So everyone should be on here. If you have uh, sponsored my channel, you don't see your name, please let me know. Okie dokie. Under the video is the um, information about my email and stuff like that. Oh yeah, first thing I want to show you guys is the one we did yesterday. This is how it turned out. As you can see, nice and sparkly. Uh, it did sort of separate a little bit. It's not that smooth like this bit here. As you can see, that is nice and smooth, but this broke up a little bit. But I guess, you know, you can't help it. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. And overall, it's, uh, ooh, it's or still wet on the, uh, on the, uh, bottom here so I'll have to be careful so um, it it's cute and once I varnish this it'll come to life so I'm putting it away and making sure my gloves are clean because I have a really really fun pour to do today what I'm going to do is I mixed up some colors and what I have is this is Titan buff and it's all Windsor and Newton so this is Titan Buff, and I put a little bit of Titanium White in this one. Then I have Titan Buff, and I put a lot of Titanium White in this one. So it's just, if you can pick it up on the, uh, on the screen, you see one is just a little bit lighter than the other. Then this one is Burnt Sienna, and I will get the colors. So the, tit uh, the Titan Buff is, uh, everyone knows that one. But this one is Burnt Cyana, and it is, um, as you can see, transparent. So uh, to lighten it up, I used Mixing White. Just a little bit of Mixing White, because I wanted, I didn't want it too dark. So that works perfectly, because if you want to keep your transparency, you don't mix with Titanium White, because that is opaque. You mix with the uh, zinc white or mixing white. Okie dokie. Let's see. I'll, I'll put the iPad up a little higher when I start pouring. Then I have um, Van Dyke Brown. Everyone knows it. But I also put in a little bit of uh, this one because they are both transparent. So that works. That makes it a, a nice warm, warm color. Because Van Dyke Brown is normally a cold color, but I, I, I want everything to be warm. Then I did a little bit of this. I'm not really happy with it, but I, I, I am going to use it. I have to. Uh, and that is called um, Windsor & Newton Copper. The copper color. It's sem semi-transparent. Then I came in with my metallics and I mixed up some gold. As you can see here, this is gold. Has a nice shine. Then I did some bronze. And it's still sort of, you know, getting into the uh, medium, as you can see. So this is the bronze. And I made a big, big batch of uh, something in between. It's uh, bronze and gold. And it is... I've, I've also put in some little flakes. Some silver flakes. We'll just see how this works. But I like the sparkle. So we will see how this uh, whole thing turns out. What I am expecting is that... Um, because I'm putting in so much of those metallics, 
um, it's going to get structure like, um, let's see if I can show you, I think so. See, this is one I did a while back. Um, oh, I didn't put a video number on it, but this is one I did a while back. And there's a lot of metallics in here. These are all primary elements. And as you can see, it leaves behind um, structure. So where you see all the metallics, it, it rises up just a little bit. And it gives the painting, once you varnish it, it gives it total structure all over the uh, canvas. And I kind of really like that. It adds to, um, I don't know, it sort of adds to the whole thing. And that's this is really a sort of what I'm going for. Um, but then uh, maybe a little richer color of these rusty colors. Just a little bit more. Uh, I'm not going to do a flip cup. Or should I do a flip cup? Yeah, let's do a flip cup. Then I will um, add a little silicone in with this one, the darker uh, Titan buff. Just a little bit, not too much. Because I would want, um, I'm going to put two drops in here too. Because I do want to have just a little, little bit of cell uh, action going on, that'd be nice. So only silicone in the Cyana and in the darker Titan buff. Now the Van Dyke brown doesn't have silicone, the copper doesn't have silicone, and I am thinking of adding silicone to one metallic color and I'm picking the gold. Here we go, pour that, stir that in. And there's a lot of bubbles in this stuff so I'm thinking maybe I should spray it just a little bit with alcohol. But then it might spread. Yeah, we'll just torch it, right? Okay, now the, dis the big decision. Do I do a flip cup? Yeah, let's do a flip cup. Okay, let's take this away for a bit. I want to keep that clean. So getting my four cups. Or shall we do a three flip? Hmm, no, we're going to do a four. See, these are all these things that go through your mind when you're setting up. So you, you're just thinking, shall I do this? No, shall I do that? No. So here we go. We're starting off with the uh, opaque color. I'm going to put that in every cup. Then a lot of that beautiful, look at the rusty color. It's beautiful. That is a beautiful color. And I already got some amazing cells. Look at that. <laughs> okay, then I'm going to come in with just a little bit more of this. The Titan. Oops. And now it's all empty. Then I'm going to come in with some brown. I see a lot of cells, cells popping up. Then the color I wasn't too sure about. But it just might give a nice effect, who knows. There's that. Then we come in with the gold, and I don't want to use all of it. I want some um, left over because I just I think I might want to do something on top of it. You never know. Then the bronze. 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 That's that. And then that special color. That 
mixed up color. Nah, I think I need a little bit more of this. I'll make some new one in a bit. Yeah, we need this. I have to make some new one. Titan, 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 where are you? Sorry guys, but I'm mixing like crazy. I'm really mixing like crazy because um, I am out of uh, mixing white. <laughs> that is, oh boy, wasn't expecting that. So it'll be a little bit darker in between. Some. I found some. Sorry, this is this. Normally I have enough paint, but this time I thought, nah, that's not gonna cut it. So I'm mixing like crazy. As you can see. Still too thick. And it's a real big cup full because I want to put it in between. But I'm looking in my cups and then there's a lot of stuff going on there, so that's looking good. Okay, almost there. cup is getting pretty full so I might have to put some in another cup let's see it's almost there yeah a little bit of water Okay, we're there. Of course, I want to put in a tiny, tiny bit of silicone. Okay, let's do some more. Because I'm thinking I don't have enough paint to fill the whole canvas, but you never know. So, this one we're going to put in between. enough. Oh, got two sticks in there. But I don't want it too thick because then it'll, let's see, oh yeah that's good. I don't want it too thick because it has to, um, I don't want it to contain the pour. If you, if you do the uh, paint in between too thick, it will keep uh, the other paint from going over it. And this time, I'd like it to be somewhat, I don't know, somewhat incorporated in the pour. So we're going to add the last of the metallics. Big splotches. There we go. Uh, this has to be enough. I'm sure this is enough. Okay, here we go. Getting everything aside. 
Getting my canvas ready here. Okay. Resting it up here. Oh no, I was just gonna put you guys up a little higher so that you can see everything. Here we go. Yep, yeah. it's in focus. So I do want to have it a little bit more placed on the sides. I hope that works. You know, one of these days this is gonna go wrong. You know that, right? And I find it totally acceptable if you guys are going to laugh. That's no problem at all. You can laugh. Okay, here we go. One, two, three. There we are. So, now, coming in with the color. And I just might help it a little bit with a brush. <clears throat> Big flat brush. So I'm going to do this a little bit here. Not too much. A little bit of tilting would be nice if I could do that. Now we'll just see how it works. I am going to make the uh, corners just a little bit slippery. Just like that. So that it helps with... Um, when it goes over the side, that's it. Corner catcher in my hand. Here we go. Wow. I like it. Let's keep these up here like that. I hope they, wow, these colors really go well, wow, I think I just might need a little torch before I let it go over the side, just like that, and I know a lot of people are saying, don't torch it, please don't torch it, I won't torch it too much. Looking awesome. Okay, now the corners. Come down here, my little pretties. Oh, please do it fast. Yes, fast. To tell you the truth, I really hate doing this because I, will, I think it was an amazing pour. And now I have to pour it over the side a little bit here and there. That's it. Wow. Yep. Got to get this one down here. Because I have a little bit of stretched cells. Oh boy, oh boy. Well, you you know, when I get quiet, then I'm totally, totally, totally unbelievable. I, I'm not going to do any, I'm no more tilting. I'm going to just fill this in because I'm just afraid I'm going to lose this. This is, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. This is beautiful. But I have to be careful now. Oh, 
I'm working on the corner, guys. Sorry. But I want it to be... Um, I do have to tilt it a little bit to get the excess paint off. Okay, that's it. That is That worked perfectly. And I see a little lumpy lump thing. This is uh, officially my most beautiful piece. That's what I think. Now I'm gonna come in with my two little chopsticks and get this lumpy thing out of here. I don't know what it is. So, can't even see it. Let's see if I got more lumpy lump things. No. Don't know what that was, but Okay, making sure I got my canvas fully covered. Oh, I've got to put these colors under my video because you're all going to ask me, Ooh, tell me the colors because that is beautiful. Yes, it is. Right now, I'm only getting rid of the little bubbles. As you can see, I don't want too many bubbles in there. Especially not in the middle bit. That's it. And then in a bit, you know, they will rise to the top just a little bit. And I'll just do that one more time. I'm going to get you guys down now. It was a long wait, but I hope it was worth waiting for. Look at that. Oh, that is beautiful. It's like an animal. What are you guys thinking? Even that is beautiful. And we go up here. See, these little white spots, you cannot avoid them. That is something that happens because there's bubbles in the paint, then you pour it, and then they, uh, the little bubbles explode. But if you look at the painting like from here, you you know, this is how you look at a painting from about, well, what would it be, about three foot feet away? You don't even see them. It's because I put you guys up really, really close. You're about three inches from the canvas when I show you this. When I do this, look at those cells. Oh, they are just, I'd, I'd like to eat them. <laughs> They're that beautiful. <laughs> look at that. So when you really look at the painting and you look at it from uh, how you're supposed to look at it, it is totally, totally wow. Oh, I'm so happy with this one. But of course, people are gonna ask me, and Marie, where did the metallics go? And I'm going to answer, I don't have a clue. <laughs> I really don't. I don't see any metallics. And um, that's when my hands are going to reach for the syringe and going to do something. Because um, I really miss, I want some of those. Oh, look at those cells. Wait a minute. Look at those. Oh, there is metallics now. I see them. I see some metallics coming through, though. And here are some awesome cells. Look at that. I'm so going to do another one of these. Really. I just can't get enough of this one. This is so beautiful. Even this bit, you know, where you think there's no cells at all. Look at it. There are cells. But people, you got to tell me the truth. It needs a little bit of gold, right? You have to have some gold in here. Or it won't be pretty. I'm looking for, I'm, I'm looking for some metallics. That's what I'm looking for. What I can see is that this, this is, this is metallic stuff. Yeah. 
you know what I think we should do? We should do another one. And um, we should put the metallics in first. Then when I flip the cups, of course the metallics will be on top, right? So they have to go like that. But this is uh, definitely, this is my best piece ever. I will make a picture in a bit and um, I'll put that on the cover of this video because I'm so proud of this one. This is so beautiful. I really love these cells, these cells. Then I like what's going on here. I like this upper corner. Oh man, it's, it's filled with beautiful, beautiful pieces. And I made a lot of mess, but that doesn't matter because it's all for the cores. And I'm going to make a little canvases out of the drop-off, so don't worry. I usually, normally, never throw stuff away. I always use it. Or I do it on Yupo, or I take those little canvases and I fill them with it. I do something with it, so don't worry. Okay, guys, I'm going to uh, leave you now because uh, I want to put this up on uh, on YouTube so you have something to watch when you wake up. And I'm going to be saying, I hope you have a beautiful, beautiful Sunday. In Holland, it's pretty gray. I'll show you a quick, sh a quick show you outside. Look at that. It's as gray as can be. Very green, but very gray. So I'm going to leave you guys with this, and I will see you later. I think later today, in the evening. Okay, guys? Love you all. Bye-bye.